The main benefit with creating certain items as phantom assemblies is that it'll make it easier to manage your bills and materials, and you won't need to create multiple work orders. Uh, the phantom assembly can just be added to the higher level work order. Now, I'll show you an example of that here. If we look at the build materials inquiry for the skateboard item that I created, you can see that in order to create the skateboard, we need screws, an axis, a board, and this wheel assembly item. Um, this wheel assembly item here is what I have set as my phantom assembly. And in order to create that, we need to make screws, or we need screws, a rim, and a tire. So you can see here, this is my skateboard item. It's an assembly item. And here's my wheel assembly. So this phantom assembly is also going to be an assembly item. And on the purchase and inventory sub tab, you can scroll down and find under inventory management, this phantom checkbox and also mark sub assemblies phantom. So I'll have these both turned on. And now if I'm going to create a work order for my skateboard, this top level item, even if I don't have any wheel assembly on hand, it's going to automatically create this work order as part of the assembly build. So go to transactions, manufacturing, enter work orders. That'll bring me to this work order page. First thing I'll do is select my subsidiary, and then I'll add my location. Now I'll enter my skateboard as my assembly. It says I have zero available for commitment across all locations for this wheel assembly, but that's nothing to worry about. And you can see because I have it set as my master default, it'll automatically pull in my bill of materials and my bill of materials revision. Say I want to make 15 skateboards, and I'll set this as released. Here we can see um, the same information that we saw in the bill of materials inquiry. And I'll go ahead and save this work order. Now that this work order has been released, I can create the build, pressing the create build button. <clears throat> and again, you can see here, it shows quantity on hand for all of these items, but I don't have any on hand of the wheel assembly, um, but that's not gonna be an issue. I go ahead and save it and it'll create the assembly build and I'll have 15 new skateboards. You can hear, see here that the transaction has successfully saved.